All right, beautiful people, welcome back to another Tiberian Sun Adventures channel video. And today we're playing a map called Last Stand Defense. Settings are one AI, and I thought I'd show some interesting maps uh, because there really aren't a lot of videos on these these types of maps, and uh, they actually can be quite fun. And there are a whole lot of issues with getting the settings right, knowing how to play the map, um, knowing how opponents attack, and it can be intimidating if you don't have someone that already knows how to play the map showing it to you. So that's why I thought I'd put together this video. So it does look kind of dumb. You got these floating MCVs. Um, I don't know what that's about. It's good for, uh, I guess, six players or seven players. But um, I'm also going to put together a playlist of uh, videos on YouTube just for co-op uh, AI games that should be fun to play as opposed to playing Giants for the millionth time. Now, I like to use Nod because you can build buildings at the same time as, w as well as building uh, units to destroy the uh, visc around. Um, there are a lot of issues. One is that I just stopped that harvester, but he will drive straight into that sandbag wall and then um, breach the wall for visc to get, then get in. Um, and I've played this map a few times to know that now, and you're actually able to stop it if it does drive into it and the visc can't destroy the... Um, harvester so but you do need to get walls to defend that because that harvester later will on unpredictably will destroy that wall i think as soon as the patch runs out there then they'll see this being the closest patch and try to get it as well um so and also these um units will actually chase down a viscoroid visc that's across the map just to destroy it um I'm just so nervous about these um, this harvester and these uh, rocket men because they really do destroy the walls. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's exactly what I was talking about happens. Um, so let's see if I can patch the wall before. Okay. Fucking harvester. Okay. So <laughs> you can see what happens. And all the visc from that side that are angry have now gone on to... Um, oh, actually, there's still a gap. There's still a gap right here. Okay, so managed to uh, contain that, but... Um, well, it looks like we can contain it. Still got a visc in there at the moment. So those harvesters... Um, actually, they're kind of not a bad unit because they, they will take the attention away from... Um, the other walls that you've got that you're trying to defend. So maybe they're not bad to... Um, but they are super strong. So you can see that, uh, yeah, well, I'm not going to sell that wall to, um, I've got to build a new uh, refinery. Okay, but it is a lot easier with uh, some allies that you've got in the map. Now, you can use normal walls, but the reason I like sandbags is uh, for a bunch of reasons. One is that they're very cheap. They're about $75 as opposed to the almost 200 that you get um, for a normal concrete wall. You can use both of them, which I think is a good idea. Actually, sending that um, harvester out there actually wasn't such a bad idea. Now, this is this is where we need to really um, pay attention. We need to get some... We need to trap these rocket men in before the visc... Yeah, because as soon as the visc... There we go. Okay, so we managed to trap them in there. Now we can shoot them. Not much we can do about the right-hand side because our allies we don't have in this. Okay, so the rocket men also have breached this wall as well which is a big problem. Uh, we might be able to contain it. No, I don't know if we can uh, before too many visc get in, but there's not a lot we can do because of this Tiberium. But for some reason, it looks like the visc have been on the right-hand side of this map, so maybe we can... Um... Okay, very interesting. So, managed to contain two lots of um, breaches from our... It looks like the rocket men are a bit confused what's going on on that side as well. So maybe we can put up some... Okay, so let's move these guys... Oh, they need to deal with this last visc. Move these guys out and try to... Ah, um... oh, shit, I thought that was a sandbag. Whoops. That's why it wasn't, um, wasn't working. Need to really stop these uh, rocket men from breaching this wall. Um, at least we got them trapped in now. 
so we can do what we wanted to. And uh, yeah, this is not normally how the game goes. Normally you get a whole lot of war breaches and you've got uh, Visk all in your base. But today we're doing a bit better than we normally would be, which is uh, nice. But as I said, this is better as a four-person map because um, you've got other people that can control these outbreaks as well at the same time. Um, okay. Now after this, you get a uh, some disruptors coming through. And they will really fuck up your day because they just walk straight over these um, sandbag walls. Then I think it's good if you can have some banshees or uh, maybe some... Uh, what is it? If you have some harpies, that's maybe a good way to deal with that issue. Now you can see I'm going to lose, predictably. Uh, but I just want to illustrate this map and how bad some of these breakouts can be and how to you know try to control them because if you do try to use this map your allies are going to make the same mistake um let's see if i can use the wiggle glitch to get this um harvester refinery down no it doesn't look like i can but they're going to make all the basic mistakes such as walking over these walls uh, their rocket man shooting through the walls as you saw so as i said what you need to do is select all of them press stop and then they'll stop chasing after a viscery that's over here and shooting through this wall and they'll focus on the ones in front of them and also managing the harvester is a real nightmare so hopefully this video is useful to illustrate how to play this game um, i think it's or i should say play this map because it's actually quite an interesting map um, and it's a lot more fun, a lot more dynamic when you've got three other players with you at the same time. But um, yeah, guys, hope you enjoy it. As I said, uh, I'm going to put a playlist up of interesting cooperative AI maps because I think they can be fun. But they're, I mean, a lot of these things need like a manual to explain how to play the game but um, or play the map. But there just isn't one. So hopefully this video and future ones like it will be uh, helpful. But that's it from me, guys. I'll see you later.